Here I am in the Ian Sayer archive where I've done many hours of research and this archive already has 25,000 volumes published on the Second World War, so why does the world need another? My book is a completely comprehensive history. It covers the fighting on every front globally and it also starts on the 1st of September 1939 with Hitler's invasion of Poland and it ends here six years and one day later with Japan's surrender. It seeks to answer one absolutely central question of the war. To what extent was Hitler's Nazism, his political ideology, responsible for his downfall? Here in Ian Sayer's archive there really is the most huge cornucopia of fascinating documents. You can hardly turn a page of his many, many files and not see really wonderful stuff. He's got here, for example, a uh, letter from Adolf Hitler to Mussolini, just talking about the death of Mussolini's uh, brother. On the next page or so there's a huge signed photo by Hitler from 1935. A couple of pages on there's some of his holiday snaps at the Berghof. Uh, there he is in Obersalzburg enjoying himself in 1936. What have we got on the next page here? A wedding shot of uh, Hitler with uh, Eva Braun there and um, various friends when uh, his photographer Heinrich Hoffmann was getting married. Here is a uh, little cherub um, carrying a basket of flowers, some of the flowers dropping down you can see in a uh, rural setting. Uh, he used to give these to various female friends of his. He painted them himself, drew them himself, and um, they still exist, a, a sign really of his um, appalling uh, sentimentality. Every page, fascinating.